Welcome to another episode here at Back to Classics. Walking the dog, as you can see in this beautiful summer weather. So what better day is this than to take a, uh, a 350 Scrambler that we've been, uh, did some work on recently. So we take that out on the road. Catch you soon. Come Grover. So here we have a 1970 Ducati 350 Scrambler, uh, a bike which we did some work on, not a full restoration, but a very elaborate service, so you want to not name it. Uh, engine has been serviced uh, with new oil, uh, filter, uh, uh, valve adjustment, uh, and a big improvement over the points ignition was that we fitted a uh, digital modern electronic ignition system, of which we will do uh, a video in the future explaining more about ignition systems and how these uh, can be set up and how they can help you enjoy your uh, classic Ducati. Uh, but some further work that we did on this bike was a new paint job. Uh, the old one was pretty deteriorated over time uh, and some repairs have been made. Uh, so this is actually a big upgrade for this bike. Uh, a pair of new tires, uh, some rubbers here and there, uh, minor things. Uh, this bike is 100% good to go and to be used on the road and a little bit off-road as we can see later on when we actually going to drive this bike. Uh, so this is a, like I said, it's a 1970 uh, 350 Scrambler, not a full restoration. We did do some uh, full restorations in the past of uh, similar bikes uh, as well as uh, a later model, 1974, actually the last model of these Scramblers. Uh, but uh, let's dive into the history behind this, uh, this model a little bit further, uh, which we can do now. Ducati had been uh, making single cylinder models for, uh, for quite some time. In fact, the first one came to market at the, in the late 50s, uh, after the, uh, the win in the MotoGiro d'Italia in uh, 55 and 56. Um, different models for different markets, uh, but not really a full off-road or, or more fun-oriented bike uh, was, was in that range. Uh, up to the point that uh, the uh, American importer, uh, Berliner at the time, uh, he demanded from Ducati a little more of a, a sporting off-road bike. And that became the 175cc motocross. Uh, a year later, uh, also a 200cc version of that uh, bike was made, uh, which was in fact a real hardcore off-road bike. Um, sold quite good in the US, uh, as, as that market was the specific uh, uh, domain in, in which it was sold. Uh, but uh, as it was a bit of a hardcore model, uh, Ducati eventually, and much Berliner, uh, uh, the importer in the US at the time, thought of a bike that was a little bit softened down so that people could use it more on the road and a little less off-road. Uh, so that became the first uh, scrambler to be sold exclusively in the US in 1963, uh, which was uh, the, still at that time the narrow case uh, engine. Uh, we can show you some pictures of what uh, the, the frame for that engine and the mountings of the engine were quite different from the later models. Uh, and this bike was uh, again specifically uh, built for the US market and uh, was sold there in, uh, in, in very good numbers uh, in the next uh, years. A few of them also were sold in, uh, in Europe and uh, over time uh, Ducati found that, that the market was, was quite good for these type of, uh, well, less sort of off-road scrambler style bike. Uh, but uh, only with the coming of the white case engine in 1968 did they actually make a uh, model which was globally sold under the name Scrambler. And that first was the 250 and 350 Scrambler in the white case form and uh, later that was uh, also uh, joined by a 450 uh, version uh, sold in America under the name Jupiter and in the rest of the world as the 450 Scrambler. Uh, so here we can see uh, what we call the first series of the white case uh, Scrambler models, this being a 350 
Uh, very few changes between the 250 and the 350. Uh, a little bit more but the 450, but that goes into detail a little bit uh, too far for this uh, episode, uh, probably. Uh, here, so I said, well, this is the first series of this, um, this model, and eventually they came with a uh, second series uh, in 1973, which had an upgraded brake system and some upgraded bodywork, but effectively was the, still the same bike. Uh, that was built up to 1974 when Ducati uh, stopped making single cylinders. Uh, that was the last year of production and moving into uh, the parallel twins to replace it, which uh, turned out to be a, a huge disaster uh, for Ducati. Uh, but they never got back on uh, the type of bike that this actually was. Perhaps the Kachiva uh, Elephant of the 1990s was a bit of a deviation. Coming back to that sort of bike, uh, but that is actually what, what was done. Uh, up until 2015, when Ducati relaunched the Scrambler. This time with a twin cylinder engine, as Ducati never made a single cylinder after 1974. But uh, clearly it was this design of the original Scrambler, so to speak, was taken as an inspiration for the uh, new line of, of Scrambler bikes. Uh, and this uh, uh, actually is a huge success for Ducati until this very day when you can still buy a brand new Scrambler. Uh, this being, of course, the original, and in our opinion, as uh, classic experts, this is, of course, unbeatable with anything modern. So, uh, this is much nicer, in fact, and the one to have, in my humble opinion. Uh, and why do you want a Scrambler? Well, in fact, it is, in my, again, in my opinion, one of the nicest and uh, most fun you can have uh, on a, a classic Ducati. It's a lovely model, and that said, it's also uh, huge fun to drive. It's very uh, user-friendly, uh, it has a very good uh, driving position, and uh, as we can see later, it is a, well, it's actually, it's a dream to drive. Maybe not on the long journeys, it's still a 350cc engine, of course, it's not the, not the biggest, uh, but on, on short trips, uh, taking it out on a Sunday afternoon, on a day like this, uh, absolutely unbeatable by any other classic Ducati, maybe even any other classic motorcycle. So, let's dive into the driving. So we stopped here in uh, beautiful Polder in uh, Berg Ambacht, real typical Dutch countryside. And uh, well, told you that I was uh, going to tell you a little bit about the driving of this, uh, this Grambler. Uh, it's a beautiful driving position, in fact, with a huge handlebar giving you all the control you need. Uh, on this ultimate lightweight bike, in fact, it is uh, next to nothing when it comes to, uh, to weight. Um, and that is, well, it's an absolute dream on these bikes on these roads like these, uh, narrow roads, twisty roads, not so much on, on, on public highways or uh, uh, long stretches, uh, but on the, on the short, uh, short tracks and, and uh, twisty roads, you can, you can do that hours, hours at a time, because in fact it is very, very comfortable uh, to use. So, um, well, that tells you a little bit about driving this bike, so let's do some more.
so that concludes another video like I said it's a lovely drive lovely day so I'm going to continue with my uh, with my little journey thanks for watching toodle see you next time